Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is part three where last time we actually got the medallion sorted out uh, in the Raccoon City Police Department. Got uh, made our way down here in this beautiful little hidden office. Uh, Claire's a little weak or on caution to start off the episode. We've got a couple of healing items, which is fine. We got the grenade launcher. We've got a knife. Um, so we're going to proceed going through, going through this way. Uh, there are still, there are still things in the police station. We will be coming back. We've got to get like keys. We've got to like open up all of these doors. So we're definitely not done. We're definitely not done with the police station. We will be back, um, but we'll check out this area for now. See how we go. I'm pretty excited to get another inventory upgrade in that storage room to see how we go. But having a, a lovely time as Claire so far <laughs> on Hardcore Difficulty, where we are getting graciously wrecked uh, by zombies and lickers alike. And it's time to check out the underground facility. The fuck? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, did we just get sealed in? We did not just get sealed in, we're okay. I was like, for a second there, I got really worried. I'd rather not. Ooh, hand grenade. Equip on the inventory screen to use, guaranteed to kill enemies. Guaranteed to kill enemies uh, within its blast radius. Can be used to counterattack when you are caught by an enemy, but its effectiveness is reduced. So similar to the flash grenade, we're able to kind of like ready it and throw it if we equip it. Ah, oh, change the sub-equipped weapon. That's cool. Nice. I like that. That's good. There's grade or something of the like in there as well for us to figure out that they just like, yeah, let's just store it downstairs. That's that's fine. Huh. Okay. Curious. I just like shoot this lock off. <laughs> Okay, so we've got that that's locked. We just got a hand grenade. Oh, hang on. I completely missed this door. Just the door to the left. There we go. Is it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Jesus. Uh, I was like. What I was just about to say is like it's bringing up some familiar feelings now with when we were doing this in uh, the original Resident Evil 2. Jesus Christ. Wow. Dude, these areas look incredible. Is it Sherry? Hello? Yeah. Oh, Sherry. It's okay. I won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. What? 
Where? Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, the eyeball, dude. You gotta be me. Hi, William. Hi, William! Holy shit, dude. Chasing after your daughter, are you, huh? Holy shit. Oh, this is fucked. Oh my fucking god. God, why is he so- he's so quick. Why am I so slow, dude? Look how slow I am! What the fuck? Stop! Stop, 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 stop! 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 <laughs> stop, what the fuck? No! Birkin, please! Birkin, you gotta understand! It's not me! It's you! What the fuck? No, you're literally on fire! <laughs> no! In the eyeball! You better give me that knife back, bitch. Holy shit. What the fuck? He's so, he's so quick, what the fuck? Ah! I've lost my knife, so I better make sure they've got the grenade. Oh, I, wish, I, wish, I should really use this grenade, huh? Alright, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I don't know how long it takes for the grenade to go, but there you go. Did that do good? Did we do good on the grenade? Ooh, boy. Holy shit, dude. He looks fucking insane. The eyeball's closed up. Shit! Oh, it's open. Oh, it's bigger! It's bigger! It's bigger! Run for your fucking life, dude! I'm gonna be out of ammo in a minute. Ah! Ah! <laughs> dude, no! Dude, no! Bitch, how fucking strong do you want to be? Have we got anything environmental that can, like, help us out in this fight? At all? Where the fuck did you go? Where the fuck did you go? Oh, you... you fucking... broke this shit. What the fuck? Oh, nice. Oh, he's fucking moving. Oh, this is... this is our chance, dude. I was like, are there any explosive barrels? Oh, God! Oh. Oh, okay. That was fine. Um. Um, 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 um. Um. Excuse me. Oh, uh, yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, let's... Ooh, another grenade! Another grenade, huh? Whee! Take it, bitch! Good night! Oh my fucking god! Oh yes! Oh yes! I don't have the time to actually correctly do the- Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Sir! You're supposed to be a role model! You're a father! You're a father! Shit! Shit! I've got a grenade, bitch! Don't crush my skull! Don't crush my skull! No! Ooh! We fucking lived, bitch. Okay. Patience. 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 Holy fuck, man. Oh, don't get trapped. Don't get trapped. Don't get trapped. How do we fucking deal with this guy? 
I'm not fucking joking. How the fuck do we deal with this guy? He's so fucking strong! He was not this strong in the original! He says as he realizes that he played on easy. <laughs> this is quite the fucking adjustment. Where the fuck are <laughs> What the fuck? Birkin, please! Fuck off! Holy shit! Claire, you need to run faster! Run faster, Claire! Please, for the love of God! I'm almost out of fucking grenade ammo. This is... this is fucked. This is legitimately fucked. Come on, but this... this... WHY?! Won't you slow down?! What the fuck?! How do you... how do you slow this dude down?! Sir! I'm fucked. I'm... I'm... I'm fucked. What do we do?! What do we do?! <laughs> Fucking god damn it! <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing, dude. That's it. That's it. That, that, that. Oh god, no! I'm stuck on the fucking thing! Shit! No. How strong is this fucking eyeball? What the fuck? Fucking god, dude. How do we fucking do this shit? And he's right back on my ass again. Oh, bitch. You fucking took me for all that I am, sir. Holy shit, his design was incredible! Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck? Great. You ever just lose all of your ammo? Yep, we just killed your dad. Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. Yeah, her face. Uh, that for me. Everything's fine. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah, of course. I'll help you. We have to. Sherry's gonna grow up to be a wonderful BSAA agent one day. Oh no, she doesn't work for BSAA, does she? In Resident Evil 6? What does Sherry do in Resident Evil 6? She's working with Jake on something. So funny to, so funny to have that in mind when you're playing this game now. So, this is what we're left with. Healing items, who needs them? Probably could have used a bit more uh, pistol bullets, um, a bit more leniently, but like... <laughs> we're just like desperately running away, or we're getting like our head thrown into the wall. Uh, I think we did good covering the, the area and getting items along the way, so I don't think... Just wanted to double check if there's anything that I've missed, considering the fact that I am now empty. That man took everything from me. How fucking cool did he look, though? I love how well the um, the original designs from 1998 translate into, like, a remake. Like, they didn't have to change Birkin at all. He looks fucking amazing. Terrifying as he's being, like, taken over. And now, because we've played the original, we, like, have that context that we know that, like, Sherry's, like, running away from her own father, you know? Which is fucked. Now I've got some gunpowder. That's not what I want. It's not what I need right now. Can I open any of these other lockers, please? 
at least at, at least let me open them just to show me that there's nothing there. Right? <laughs> Don't give me hope. One herb, one gunpowder. Hey Sherry. It won't move. It's alright, I got this. pharmaceutical company my mom's always at work I don't get to see her much well hopefully you'll get to see her again soon so interesting also funny that when we play Resident Evil 6 because Claire is not in the game and Leon is when Leon and Sherry and all that they have their like meeting in the campaign and Sherry's like yeah Leon's the one who saved me uh back at the Raccoon City incident Claire Redfield who who remembers her <laughs> when yeah it was just so funny when like Sherry's just like oh yeah Leon saved me back in Raccoon City I'm like any shout outs to Claire nope <laughs> The one who actually saved you. So we're but that's fine. He, um, worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? I love that Sherry... <laughs> Sherry uh, tries to comfort us more than we try and comfort Sherry. Sherry's like, "Oh my god, I'm like, I'm so sorry. It's just you and your brother for a child." And Cla and Sherry goes, "Oh yeah, like my dad's gone. Now you kind of just murdered him, right? You know, it doesn't say that, but it's like, yeah, my dad's gone." And Claire goes, "Oh yeah, my family's gone too." <laughs> I'm like, "It's not about you, Claire. It's not about you." All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna save the game here naturally. Uh, we're going to hold on to a flash grenade. Um, if we... We can now make acid rounds because we've got some gunpowder. Because we don't have the submachine gun yet. So I'm going to make an ac I'm gonna make acid rounds. I don't know how much it makes, but hopefully it's nice. And we'll also take that first aid spray. Um, God, even the combat knife looks appealing. So let's do that. Let's combine these things. Th oh, you get three. That's awesome. Okay, so we've got three acid rounds. That's great. Knife can go there. Just trying to organize this inventory. Gun, ammo, healing items, defensive items, extra stuff. Um, we're in caution, so I will... Oh, it's, it's, it's tough. We'll save the game first before making a choice. Taking full advantage over multiple item slots in case I have fuck up the run royally. <laughs> Store that. We'll hold on to the green herb because there is a chance that I might find a red one and I can make a full heal out of it. Um, there's another chance I also might survive and get put into danger and then I can use a full heal. We, we don't know. But we've saved the game, so I can feel a little better now. I'm glad we did Birkin first try. As stressful as it was, I, he didn't kill me. I thought I was dead when I got stuck against the wall. I, I was like, I'm dead. <laughs> so, we lived. Birkin got his ass beat. Oh. Have Leon and Ada already met in the in the... In the parking lot yet? I don't know. Here. Uh, come on. Over there. Careful. Don't just go running around. It's closed. Dude, the, the atmosphere in this game 
is incredible. How everything looks and also just like the effectiveness of this flashlight when everything else is dark. Hard to get this open. Damn it. We need a key card. Classic Resident Evil. One. Here, come out. Really? <laughs> Child, quick, help me lift the gate. This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Oh! Brave little girl, leave your house in the middle of this mess. She finds? On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground, now. Sherry, tie her hands. Why are you doing Shut this? Shut up. Tie her. Okay, then. You tie her up now, or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck <laughs> Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Better say the full name. You come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Say the full name. <laughs> say the full name. To my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Stop oh my god. Please. Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Oh, yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! Dude. What a fucking scene. Stay safe, Sherry. What a fucking scene, dude. Okay. Key card first, and then that asshole gets what's coming to him. All right, lights are on now. Um, dude, that is new and interesting characterization for our for our big boy chief. Holy shit! Okay, gotta get a key card, then we'll go after them. Fuck. So have we got a key item now? Um, so we've got files. We don't have... Okay, we just kind of like picked up the... Kind of see if there's like a, a treasures list or like key items or something like that. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, we've got two pathways. What are we looking at here? Oh no, not another fucking liquor, dude. Okay, hold on. Ah, shit. <laughs> Acid rounds at the ready. And we'll maybe try and straight up, like, avoid it. Oh, man. Zombies in the gun range. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Bent key, no longer usable, but can still open the car's doors and trunks with its keyless entry buttons. Okay. Yes. 
All right, we can now open up car 7439. A message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, but that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous, so just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. <laughs> Stop killing me! Stop killing me in toy form. All right, diamond key door. Bitch, you're gonna wake up. Bitch, you're gonna wake up. Oh, you're gonna wake up. One of you... One of you is waking up. Ah, oh, there's the raccoon. If you shoot it, are these guys gonna get up? All right, I'm gonna get these flame rounds. I'm scanning the area without moving. So we can try and not trigger zombies. All right, the plan is get these get these flame rounds, run out, shoot the raccoon from a safe distance. Okay. Just gonna pick these up. I'm gonna leave peacefully. There's no need to disturb the remains of the undead. Potentially. Until we're at a safe distance. Okay. Where is it? E? Nice. Okay. Now. Locked door. Alright. Not yet. Uh, sh do we dare attempt this fucking corridor that has a liquor? Do we dare? I want to say probably not, but I'm crazy, so... Wait, what? There's a noise coming. Um... Oh, where the fuck is that? Oh! There? It's getting closer. Where the fuck is it? Is it? I'm like convinced it's in there. Can I, can I go in there? Alright, I can't go in there. Okay, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> Ooh, a blue herb. Nice, we got a blue herb. Alright. And my inventory. Uh, green and blue. Okay, so it removes toxins and restores a slight amount of health. I don't know if we'll still be able to blend this one with a red one if we encounter a, a red one later. But there you go. We're at full inventory space, so I need to be careful. Oh my fucking. Okay. Oh, you're eating dogs. I think there's another one in here too. My god, this full inventory space is gonna kill me. Alright, hold on. I... 
I'm going to take a rain check. I'm going to take a rain check on that one. head back to the item box. I guess that's how this is our car. Is this our car? No. Oh, is this our car? No. 7439. Maybe it's just that one that's out there. So once we get the once we get the key card we can then use it. Let's go. I need to go back down anyway. Let's remove the knife. Oh, actually, let's store that. Let's keep the knife. Um. So car number <clears throat> seven four three nine. Ah, oh. you press the button on it to activate it. All right, hold on a second. In that case, let's keep the car key for now. and then pop the key. It's this one, right? It was this one. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice. JMB HP3, we got a new gun. Hell yeah. laser sight baby okay uh the plan in this case is we got five bullets in there still so i kind of i don't know we can now discard the key we're gonna put we're gonna put the gun that we've had all this time with five bullets in the item box as like an insurance policy right if we run out of ammo We've got a gun in the item box with five whole bullets. <laughs> and we'll replace it with that one. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Shortcut that to the top. Replace it with the old one. Now, this liquor. Possible liquors, I should say. Because it sounds like there's another one somewhere else in that room munching is, do I see if we can sneak around them quietly? Or... Do I just try and melt them with acid rounds? Okay, so the, we're going to take this slow. We've got white gunpowder there. Yeah, there's definitely another one in here. How close do you reckon we can get before... Okay. 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 Yep, okay. So, if we get close to it, it does straight up... Ooh, it's moved now, though. It straight up acknowledges us. And now it's active. Can you crawl through that vent, man? Get the hell out of here. Okay. Yeah, there you are. There's two. Don't you dare feel around with that tongue of yours. What does this room look like? A, ke a kennel. What is going on down there?
And there's a so there's a door down there. Fuck, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe let's try this way first, just as an idea. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to sprint. Oh, are they? You're not. Just stay in that room. Just stay in that room? Okay. Just stay in that room. Let's go this way now. Just to see if there's another path and then Must be where that guy came from. Try and assess all our options, right? Before we take out those liquors and go the other way. Raccoon Monthly, June issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right. It's police police chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we've missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family. Chief Irons said with a soft smile. Buddy is the police chief oh yeah <clears throat> okay we've got a map so that kennel will actually lead us naturally exactly where we need to go to the morgue there's a generator room fucking god damn it because <laughs> of course but of course and another door that's locked with the diamond key Express elevator to the chief's office, not for general use. Okay. Hey, you still eating that one over there? I'm hungry. All right, let's go. We have to go through the fucking liquors. <laughs> I'm glad we checked this before going there, though. So, I feel like a liquor will kill me in one hit, because we're at caution. Um... So I, ooh, <laughs> I don't know. Liquors are tough too. I don't want to just waste my acid rounds. I want to also be able to get some shots off with the pistol. But there's two of them. I just like take pot shots from the from the from the door. You've moved again, have you? I wish that they were just like both just sitting together. That would be great. Uh, where the fuck? Okay. God fucking damn it. Well, how the fuck do we deal with this? This is quite the dilemma. <laughs> Immediately! Immediately. What the fuck? Is that death? I think that was death. Two acid rounds? Oh no! It's not death. It was not death. It was not death. <laughs> Sir? Hello? Oh my god. Fuck. Two acid rounds is not death. Oh, I just trapped myself in the fucking room! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no, I'm such an idiot. Fucking hell, dude.
We won. But at what cost? <laughs> oh! Oh god. <laughs> <coughs> its head was jingling. Um, god damn it. Uh, that extra hit that I took uh, really sucked. The old poke your gun through the door routine, though. <laughs> I'm so glad that enemies are trapped uh, in the rooms that they're kind of like living in. It's it's a nice little like safe zone. I'm gonna have to use this green herb because I'm f I'm fucked otherwise. I don't know if I want to save just yet because we can pretty easily replay everything that we've just done. Like we haven't had to go through anything super difficult. So that way I'm not I'm not going too crazy. If we need to restart. Two of these can make submachine gun ammo. I can't wait for the submachine gun. Alright, so let's let's see how we go. I'm really hoping to get a full heal or something. Cause I think this green one, this green and blue herb is only gonna put us in caution. So we're currently in danger. Silly mistake with getting hit. I should have let them run away a bit more. I got a little impatient. Just checking. Alright, they're still here. They're still dead. Okay. And it turns out there was another one. Like, we might have been able to, like, outrun them, but I th also think we would have gotten totally killed if we tried. So there's got to be some minor inconvenience blocking a pathway. <laughs> okay. Into the morgue. Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased, Justin Hansen. Male, Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations. Found dead in jail cell bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, uh, which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. Oh, okay. Bitch. Can we... Can we blend it? It blends! And we are going to use it straight away. Which is a shame that we've wasted the blue herb already. I'm going to die if I don't. So, there you go. There's going to be a fucking zombie in one of these, though. <gasps> oh. What the fuck? They're huge! Why are they so big? Get the fuck in there. <laughs> it's like, I just want to be able to take a quick little peek. Is there any way we can get a little... <laughs> Just be cautious about this one. Okay. The last one. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. It's a body. Look at that. Is this our kleptomaniac? Bitch. He's got a flash grenade. Bitch. He's going to wake up. The choices that we... The choices here... Oh, I just noticed I've got like a buff in the corner. I think that must be a protection against poison while I've uh, used the blue herb. That's neat. 
Oh, come on, man. Oh, I wasted a bullet. I wasted a bullet. Get the fuck back in. Get the fuck back in there. I wasted a bullet. That was a that was a that was cautious, right? Okay. Fucking goddamn. All right. How the fuck are we? Is one of these going to be a way out? <laughs> I'm. I'm just. One's going to fucking get me. There's going to be one in here. It's going to be alive. Oh. Yep. Hello. Okay, so you're a bit more obviously alive. Is there an item that you come with, though? That's the problem. No. Get the fuck back in there. Go to go the fuck back to sleep. Go the fuck back to sleep. I don't appreciate the music spiking. I can't get whatever the fuck it is. Oh my god, here we go. Bitch, what is it? <gasps> it's the fucking diamond key! Uh, yep! <laughs> I fucking knew it! Stay down! Stay the fuck down! No! <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No! What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Where did the other one come from? Give me that knife back. God's sake, knew it was going to happen. Alright, we've got the diamond key, so that now opens up that room. And... Elevator... Ah, the elevator controls. Nice. Okay. Fuck's sake. Where did that dude come from? Did he bust out of the morgue? Like, one of the things? Shut everyone in there for a reason, man. It's not another liquor. Here and I was hearing creature noises. Fucking better not. Okay, what the fuck? There is a f Dude, I don't- I'm done! If they're blind, flash grenade's not gonna do anything. Fuck, dude. Ah! What?! How did it get me from there?! The fuck? Fully expected the liquor to like hit the ground. It fucking launched at me. What? Ah, uh, you know where it's probably run off to? It's protecting this pathway that I wanted to go up to in the firing range. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna do it from here. <laughs> it ran away! Oh!
Did it just go that way? Is it just retreating further back? Put so many bullets in you now. This is annoying. Right, I'm going in here. You better not be... Oh my f Of course you fucking are. Alright, hold on. Quickly use this. Quickly do this. Of course they're fucking awake now. Oh, uh, that would be great if I had a green herb. Roll of film. S still not very useful. Shit, man. Really? Fully explored that room. Alright, let's get the fuck out. Fucking run, fucking run, fucking- no! What?! Oh, you can put the flash grenade in its mouth. <laughs> Bitch, let me the fuck out of here. You can actually put a flash grenade in the liquor's mouth. The more you know. At this point, it seems like a waste of ammo, right? Like, at this point, it's like, that's a waste of ammo. But it's done. <sighs> Jesus. Alright, the flash grenade actually came in clutch. I'm so low on my items. We shouldn't have wasted those bullets. We should have just run away. It is what it is. And again, this is why, if I, uh, this is why I'm saving in different slots, just in case I've, like, royally fucked myself. And I, like, lose out on gear that I kind of needed. When I, whenever I've been low on stuff, the game has then provided. So, we will persevere. Now I'm going to go up Chief Iron's lift. Access the elevator controls. So we're on caution. We've got a red herb. Green herb would be nice. Did anything else on this car open? It was just the trunk, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. Nothing else. In a perfect world, there would be a herb in there. I reckon the knife would have been better to use against the liquor. Ah, uh, blue herb. Okay. Uh, ooh. Shot a custom part for the grenade launcher. Greatly reduced uh, kickback. Each shot more stable trajectory. Nice. Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, now it takes up two slots. <laughs> you should have told me! Oh, you can remove the parts. Okay. More high-grade gunpowder. We just need low-grade gunpowder so I can make some more grenade rounds, because we're not making submachine rounds until I got the submachine gun. It's time. So there might be a spare key card up this way. Green herb, baby! Green herb! Oh, wow. Thank you. We're on caution. I'm still gonna sit with it. God, it's so good when you go outside. Like, the, every single atmosphere, both internal and external, is so... so effective. Ah, entering through the back entrance of the secret... Yeah... 
his little secret entrance in his room. Now, I'm pretty sure the first time we meet Irons in the original is when we enter this room from that way, and we walk in here, and he's sat there on his desk with a fucking woman, right? He's got, like, the woman, he's like, oh my god. And then you open up this later. So, I think they have, uh... Well, I mean, I know now that they're, they're shifting around certain, like, story beats and character introduction. Um, which is good because it like we're recognizing these areas from the original game, but it's keeping us on our toes a bit. Ah, there's our submachine gun ammo finally. Because it's keeping us on our toes. You don't know what exactly to expect. Let's chuck this away. Chuck that away. Pull an increment out, because I will save now that we've gone through this area. Nice offers, Chief. Let's take a nice save. I used to be one of those guys who would just save on the one save slot every time, like, without fail. Like, how naive, right? I used to never really, like, make multiple saves. That was something that came when I, like, grew up a little bit, and I was like, why did I never do this? Especially in games that have, like, multiple save slots. I just love to play it risky like that, you know? Who needs to... Who needs to fucking play it safe with backups? Okay, I need some stuff. So we got another. Ah, uh, that looks like that looks like a key card. Hair shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out at the clock tower. So there's going to be storage room and the clock tower that have parts. Okay. Nice. All right, we now have the heart and the diamond key. Um, is there anywhere that has the heart key? That's diamond to go to the linen room. East storage room, that's where we need to go now. That's a heart room to go to the records room, which is also locked with a club door. Okay. It's a dodo! Private collection room. And then the tiger comes alive. I guess we'll go this way now. It's like seeing if we want to go up the stairs to go to the storage room. We still need that goddamn USB to like put in the computer and then maybe we'll be able to get the, uh, the star's office checked out and get a submachine gun. That would be nice. Oh, this is the... That's a heart key door. There you go. Okay. Now if we go down, we've got the interrogation room, the observation room. Oh, I remember these rooms. <laughs> where the fucking liquor jumps through the window into the interrogation room. So that's what happens if we go down. If we go up, that takes us to the storage room. Let's have a look. 
Let's make a terrible decision. Oh! God, why did just like turning on the flashlight and that music scare the shit out of me? Oh my god. Hi. That's the press that's the press room. Shit, man. We don't have wooden boards, they're in my item box. Shit. Hold on. Hold on, sir, I'll be with you in a moment. I'm going to use those wooden boards on that window. Am I able to use it before they bust through like a one broken window? Oh, we didn't even read the taxidermy log. White-tailed deer, male, proc six years old, place of capture, the Arclay Mountains. Pleased with how it turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Kabarosk cry. I nearly came. <laughs> I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm gut spilled out. I still smell of wild beasts. This is the life. I almost cummed in my pants when I cut open an animal. A pig. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over, and it's all mine forever. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Stop it. Get some help. I'm ditching that for now. Until I... Uh, I'm able to actually get some grenade rounds. Uh, wooden board is what I came up here for. Let's let's focus. We got distracted by the we got distracted by the subtle hints, the very subtle, not in your face at all hints of uh, bestiality. So we're gonna ignore that that ever even happened. Nope. And we're gonna fucking. Chill. Chill. Smile! You're not getting in! Now. That's a love heart door. We can get in there. This is a club door. We cannot get in there. Okay. God damn it! Where's the normal gunpowder? Where's the normal gunpowder? Like, all this does confirm is as soon as we get this submachine gun, we're going to be swimming in am ammunition. But I'm just trying to make some grenade launcher rounds, man. Alright. Are we... Are we placing bets? Is a liquor going to bust through that window? Let me out. Fuck, dude. Uh... I don't feel good. Bitch, you're supposed to write it backwards, otherwise they're not going to know what you're saying. They just think that you just said, to Mlet. Okay. Mm. 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 Untrusting. Ooh, we have the red jewel for that. Still scared me, and I knew it was coming. <laughs> ah! Oh, why did it scare me even more than it would normally? Because I knew it was coming. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry if I just gave all of you a heart attack with my scream. <laughs> It's like I knew it was. I was like, dude, this happened in the original. There's no way they're not going to deprive us of this moment. And somehow that made it more scary. <laughs> Holy fuck. God damn it. Open up, bitch. What she got for me? Huh. Oh. Ah, it's the USB key. It's submachine gun time, dude. It's submachine gun time. <sighs> We're all heartbreak. We're all getting heart attacks in this game together. So if you guys, you know, if you guys getting scared, it's all part of the fun. 
Oh, okay. Um, let's get this fucking submachine gun. How do I get there though? Because I need to go to there. We can also do the linen room. We have to, we have to go from the third floor. Because of this stupid thing. We have to go from the third floor. So we're going into uncharted territory. Oh my god. Upstairs, baby. Ah, more wooden boards, huh? Well, if only I had just gone upstairs first. Alright. Ah, uh, let's just sit them in the inventory, just in case there's another window. If not, we'll just, um... Put it away and we'll use it on another window that we've seen. Fucking... Whose hat is that? Alright, we've got the balcony and the east storage room. So the east storage room is where we need to go. So let's go to the balcony. Anyone having a cheeky... Ah, ah, okay. Ladder takes us down to the roof. Then we can do that. Interesting. Or we go down to the boiler room. Okay. We got a blue herb. I'm just going to leave that here for now. Because I don't really need it. Let's check this out while we're here. Oh. Ah, similar to when you had to get like the valve handle. I need we need to get something here. That's cool. To make the water happen. So instead of uh, how it was in the original, a little bit different. Ooh. Nice. I need a green herb though. Otherwise, I'm just wasting space. Crank handle slot. Okay, we can get back out here. We can go this way. A shadow just scared the shit out of me. Oh, no, we can't. We need to... Mm. Okay, to go through there... We will need to... Yeah. We're going to put the fire out before we can do anything about that. But we can go down to the boiler room. We're now full on our inventory space, so I need to be careful. Boiler... <laughs> I was like, Ugh! I just like paused out of fear. What the fuck? Lady, I need to go down there. Can you just trying to get a good look? <gasps> Are they green herbs? They're fucking green herbs, bitch. Get up here. Get up here. I'm going to lure you over here so I can go and get those green herbs. I need, I desperately need those two inventory slots. Bitch. Come on. Let's, let's dance in the rain together. It'll be romantic. It'll be romantic. Do you reckon I could like get her to a point where I could like shoot her into the backwards into the fire? Right, I'm going to now just run. Goodbye. Do, 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 Please don't be anyone else down here, otherwise my plan is... Fuck! My plan's fucked. I fucked it. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. I have just made a huge mistake. Oh, we did it! Okay. That's okay. 
That's good. Um... I want to get that green herb so I can like use it right away and heal and then keep my two full heals for later. I know, right? No! Ooh, okay, okay. She's gonna get back up though. No way. It's like a little bit of a shame that their frame rate dips so much when they're at a distance because you're trying to keep your distance, but then they're like, they're just kind of slowly frame rate dipping at you. Can I just use it? You can't just, you can't just use it. Okay. That's a shame. Oh, oh, nice. How do you get to the boiler room then? It must be a ladder or something. It must be like a, maybe a sewer entrance you can like get up in there. They're not going to do that classic like loading room, uh, the loading door surprise. Hmm. Okay. You bastard! Alright, now it should actually go into a different pipe, right? So we didn't have, we don't have to actually get a pipe part. Yeah! Nice! We did it! We did it! Okay, I'm gonna go back this way though, because we're going back to the item box once again. How many times can we go to the item box? Because <laughs> I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that green herb. Oh shit! We just went right into the storage room. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait! I was like, sprinted into a brand new location. I don't even know what's what's in there. All right, back to safety. Um, let's put this away for now. Oh shit, just go there. Uh, you can be stored, you can be stored. Go over there. Okay. Get this green herb, and then there'll be a, a power panel for us to get in the storage room as well. Wasting bullets, unfortunately, to get this one green herb. That's kind of like the trade-off here. Alright. It's also the blue herb. It's now much darker out here, so this is now working to my disadvantage. Right, where are these where are these zombies hanging out? Ooh, you're still dead. Okay. Ooh. This is going to work out in my favor then. Hell yeah. Awesome. I was fully expecting them to both be alive. No! I stayed caution! Where's the undo button? Where's the undo button? What a joke. What a fucking joke. Oh great, now I'm just a different type of caution. That sucks. I guess this would be for the clock tower. Oh great. Oh great.
Oh, fucking mannequins. Fucking Resident Evil 7. All right, there's a knife in here. This is the electric part that we need. There's a fucking zombie in here too. Hello. Um, I now no longer have... <laughs> God damn it! Sufficient inventory space. Unless that... Yeah. We can't discard a key yet. Okay, that key, that door is now locked. Okay. Back to the item room we go! Progress, though. Progress. It's all in the name of fucking progress! You get out of here. I'm gonna use that. We're finally going to get that USB dongle so we get the submachine gun. Um, there's items in there that I really want to get, specifically the flame rounds and the combat knife. I'm so glad that it marks it off again, I'll say that. Like, it's, it's very nice. Ah, okay. oh, I obviously need to open the box, right? And the box is empty. You got all right. Oh no, we need two. Do we need two? Shit, we need two. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, that means we actually have to. We do need to actually get to the clock tower, which we have a gear for now. Shit. Okay. <laughs> not as not as successful as I thought. Then okay, we still we still got work to do. We're gonna get to the clock tower with those gears. I don't know how far away that is yet though, because the clock tower is there. That door is locked. There's a door there from the library. There's also that's blocked. Um, gonna get to the linen room. I don't know. Let's get. Let's get that submachine gun, right? Let's get these this flame ammo. Let's just get the stuff. Let's just get the get the goods. Jesus. Uh, and now I have to go there. All right, cool. We avoided that zombie. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, there's a blue herb out there which I don't have space for. I'm stuck. There's no enemies, so that's fine. Not waste the ammo. Not wasting ammo. Being really tense. As usual. Okay. Uh, you get out. You get out. For now, you also get out. So the, the pathway that I now need to go is... Go through here, now that I've put out the fire. Go through the waiting room, out into the main hall. Uh, check in once again with our lovely friend Marvin. Who hopefully, by this point, uh, has not turned. Hopefully. Just for the sake that it's going to be easier. 
I think we should be able to... Yeah, there's an item... Yeah, that'd be okay. We'll hold on to that blue herb. Hopefully our friend Marvin has not turned. Oh! Oh! Jesus, stay back! This is... This is... <laughs> He's following me! Where the fuck are... Oh fuck, he's already there! What the fuck?! I remember this fucking reveal, dude, from the original! Please, 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 he's, he can't come in the save room, right? He can't fucking come in the save room. Mr. X is out. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> He's opened another door. <sighs> Bro, those footsteps are fucked. I'm pretty sure that is the same area that he is revealed in in the first game, in RE2, the original. Pretty sure I freaked the fuck out there as well. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? What do we do? What do we do? Why is fucking footsteps so fucking loud? Where the fuck are you? Fucking heavy boy. Where the fuck? Why does he sound like he's literally on top of me? Oh, what the fuck? He went downstairs. Jesus. He's going back upstairs. Okay, he's doing... Ah... He's doing the rounds on each floor. Oh my fucking god. Okay, when he goes down, we need to go up and just fucking gun it through to the main hole. Jesus Christ, man. Where's he just gone? I'm not risking it. This dude is fucked. Oh. Where are the foot? Okay, they're coming back. All right, he's back inside. Oh my god! <laughs> Can we on hardcore? Like, I'm like, because we could shoot him enough, and like he would go down in the original. But like, we're on hardcore. I don't know if that's an option. He hasn't come down yet. I don't know. This is this is way too risky. Where the fuck is he? This dude is a fucking man on a mission. Dude is relentless. Is he in the storage room or on the balcony? What do you reckon? He'll be in the storage room, right?
I reckon he's in the, he's in the storage room. Where are these fucking footsteps? Okay, are we... I think we're good. Fucking hell, dude. He just straight up removed that helicopter from existence for me. Oh. Dude, you can hear his footsteps from so far away. I'm still trying to like, I'm still trying to like recover. Uh, we could go, we, oh, we could actually go through this way as well if we wanted. We've got a door that we didn't block there, but we don't have the stuff on us. Okay, we can either go through there or we can go through the waiting room. Let's, I don't think we've got that safe code, have we? We've only got. The only safe code we had we already used, right? Which was the one in the police room, yeah. Alright, we're going to... Oh, okay, Mr. X is on the fucking loose now. So now we got to watch out for him as well. Wherever the fuck he's going to pop up. Why is he so close to us already? Oh! The fuck are you there? What? He's not scripted anymore either, dude. Like, he doesn't just, like, pop up at random fucking... He pops up at random spots. Why? 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 Remember when he used to be scripted? Remember when he was scripted? Jesus. Because he appeared at, like, scripted spots in the original and we could just, like, fuck him up and run away. I'm getting the vibe because this is, like, because I've played Resident Evil 7 and 8, I kind of have this in my mind that uh, it's it seems pretty clear that this is, like, the big, tough roaming enemies, like the Baker family and Lady uh, Demetresque and everything, they're, like, they're roaming around. They're no longer sort of, like, they initially appear... Uh, at scripted spots, but they will then just fucking walk around. That's what we had to deal with most recently with Lady D in Resident Evil 8. <sighs> Mr. X is shorter than she is, but so much more intimidating. Those fucking boots, man. <sighs> oh. Marvin, you better be good, son. Because Mr. X was just chilling out in this area. He just, like, walked out from into the fucking waiting room. <sighs> I, have, I don't have the... I don't have the time for this shit. Marvin, buddy, you still with me? <laughs> oh! No! Marvin. Oh! Shit. <gasps> what? Ooh. Not at the same time. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? All right, I need to get to the stars office. We'll put a couple of shots in Marvin's face. We get the fuck out of here. You're not going to give me a cinematic moment with Marvin just to chill the fuck out? Oh my god. This music that pops up with him. Oh my god. Get me the fuck out of here. We dealt with the liquor here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Alright. Oh, oh, eh, oh. Get in the linen room. Can we hide? Can we just hide? Ooh. 
Can we hide in here? What if we just don't make a fucking sound? And we just hide... Oh, we can ditch this key now. Good. We just hide in the linen room with our fucking... With our fucking thing. Is it the key? Like we got in the other one? It is. It's a fucking spare part, bitch. Okay, we can now... Oh, we can get the inventory upgrade. In the safety deposit room. I just fucking took a Mr. X fist to the fucking face, dude. Surely he can't come into the star's office. Surely not. Surely he can't. Like, he can't come in here. Right. Put the thing in, quick. Give me this. I've waited so long for this moment. We don't even have the submachine gun ammo on us right now. Letters to stars members. To my best of stars buds. How are you doing that drab old station? Hanging in there against old irons? Me? I just got back from a date with a hot chick. But you can guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is in no way enough to even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry... Don't even think, Barry. Don't even think of coming to join me. Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry, yeah? So you just leave the babes to me. Jill, if Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Chris Redfield in August. That's, it's so weird, like, reading a letter like this, having Chris talk like this. Okay, Chris. <laughs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> this does not sound like Chris. Exactly, right? It's a fake letter. Because Chris is off doing other shit. Alright. We... Oh! Hang on. We're gonna need that for something else. Put everything in here, right? It's still red, though. It's still red in here. Maybe, like, there's another USB that we can put in the computer? Interesting. So we can still interact with the computer. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. Uh, now we can go downstairs if we want. Do this. Pop in there. Yeah, that might be our best bet. Okay, let's just walk, because I don't know where the fuck this guy is. I wonder if we can use flash grenades against Mr. X, because he didn't even grab us. He just fucking punched us in the face. I just need to get downstairs. 
just need to get downstairs, and then there's an item box. Is there a liquor down here now, dude? Fucking better not be. Ooh! Oh, fuck. There's a fucking liquor just waiting there now. Oh, it's like the safety deposit room. Fuck's sake. Okay. We've also got a roll of film that we can develop. This actually worked out pretty well. Um, we are now going to make more submachine gun ammo happen. Uh, let's put this away. Oh, but I also want to use one with normal gunpowder for grenade launcher rounds, for some acid rounds. Let's do that. So, give me that. Let's make acid rounds and let's make submachine gun. Ooh, that's a decent amount of fucking submachine gun ammo. Okay, cool. That's all I was trying to do. Um, The only problem with that is we now have no space. We've also got two key items that we're going to use, so that's okay. Oh my god, he's just hanging- he's just fucking walking around nearby. This is insane. Alright, let's develop this next roll of film. Oh! It's filmed for the third floor locker. DCM. Um, is that... There's like a locker there. This is annoying that it doesn't show on the the map, but I'm pretty sure it's there. Because there was there's two that we've seen, I think. DCM. Okay. Why does he sound so fucking close, dude? We're going to get that inventory upgrade, though, so that's kind of like... <laughs> ah, he just fucking sees you walking up the stairs! Bitch, you can't come in here. You're not allowed in here! Come back when I'm not here. So there's a liquor and Mr. X out here. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I need to get here for that and the heart door. He knows where I am now, so will he just give up or not? Oh my god, look at him. Fuck's sake! No! I went into the wrong fucking room as well. Great. Uh, hmm, that's not exactly what I needed. Shit, man. I'm kind of screwed now. Because Mr. X is coming. He knows exactly where we are, too. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Sir? I'm dead. I'm gonna get bitten by the zombie that's out here. Uh, fuck.
Oh wait, it's number two, isn't it? Fucking, I don't want to check it. We just have to keep doing this until we get the doors open because... Alright, there we go. Yep, that's good. What else can we open? Anything with a two in it. This music is not good for my brain. It's stressing me the fuck out. Thank you. Okay, and now we can do one or two for gunpowder. I think that's all. Of, I think that's all of them. Uh. uh, uh. <laughs> Just kind of just opening them all <laughs> and running around. <laughs> yep, that's what we're that's that's what we're doing. I'm gonna pass out, dude. Um, I'm going to fucking pass out. I swear to God. Um. Fuck my life. Let me get the fuck. Uh, this way. I'm so glad that that liquor went down in two grenade. Two grenades. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> what do you? What do we even fucking? What do we need to use that tool for? I've I have no brain function anymore. I don't know. You know what time it is, guys? Do you know what time it is? It is, I'm going to save the game time, and that's the end of the episode. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I think we've done okay. <sighs> I think we've done okay. As we sit here in danger with one healing item. But we're okay. We got the submachine gun. We've run around like a fucking madman. Mr. X is on our fucking trail. Next episode. I don't fucking know. <laughs> we do something. Um, we need to go to the clock tower to get another part. Uh, we need to put Marvin out of his misery after putting three bullets in his head. But Mr. X interrupting our reunion. I, whew, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out when I have a clear train of thought and I understand um, how to play this game again. So guys, thank you so much for watching the third episode of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Because we are it's only the third one. <laughs> and I feel like I'm on the verge of um, vomiting, passing out, and having a heart attack all at once. So look forward to more of that next time, guys. Again, thank you so much. And I will see you then. <laughs>